Kardashians are indeed considered one of show business's most dysfunctionally hated families. This can be confidently refuted given the notorious family's career surrounded by airing out their business through multiple weekly televised programs. Most times we've been swarmed with non-stop Kardashian updates, leaving no room for Hollywood to shine a light on some of their other messy bunches. But what's the skew can always be made new, and that's why Where They Now has put together our list of 10 other Hollywood families who can easily give the Kardashian crew a run for their money. While these upcoming relatives are all equally dysfunctional, a lot of them are unaware of just how messy they can get. So here is today's Where Are They Now countdown of families more hated than the Kardashians. Do the Kardashians take the cake as Hollywood's most disliked family for you, or is our list convincing enough to prove there's worse out there? Share your responses below and let's jump right in. In our 10th spot, the Jacksons. Things for the Jacksons bunch have always been off, but with Michael's death shaking everybody's world in 2009, things went from bad to much, much worse. After his passing, MJ's mother, Catherine, was given sole custody of his three children. For years, this arrangement seemed fine until the family hit a curveball in 2012 following reports of Catherine going missing. This was revealed via her granddaughter, Paris, according to CNN, as she initially tweeted out the news, adding, I haven't spoken with her in a week. I want her home now. Catherine's son, Jermaine, later cleared up how Catherine was simply resting in Arizona under a doctor's instruction. The strange incident took place in the middle of the Jackson siblings' fight with Michael's estate state executors, throwing out a list of accusations, including fraud. Then, later that year, more drama ensued when Jackson Holmes surveillance footage leaked a violent row among the members. In February 2017, five years later, the Jackson pack was thrown back into headlines when Catherine filed a formal complaint with accusations against her nephew-in-law, Trent, for elderly misconduct. With this, Catherine also claimed Trent wrongfully accessed her bank accounts and ordered a granted temporary restraining order dismissed weeks after. Before we jump into number 9, like today's where are they now if you know at least one crazy incident on today's list? In our ninth spot, the Baldwins. Alec Baldwin will never win Father of the Year at this point. We can list so many reasons, but the biggest and most infamous was the time he shouted at his daughter Ireland over voicemail to call her a thoughtless pig. The 2007 incident included a young 11 year old Ireland and resultantly saw Alec's visitation rights being suspended. This served as another miss in his messy custody battle with his ex wife, Kim Basinger. Back in 2017, Alec claimed the voicemail still affected his career, telling Good Morning America, It's thrown in your face every day. There are people who admonish me or attack me and use that as a constant spearhead to do that. It's a scab that never heals because it's being picked at all the time by other people. My daughter, that's hurt her in a permanent way. And given the 2015 Instagram post of Ireland's, where she poked fun at the past, it seemed there wasn't much mending in their dad daughter relationship. While seated adjacent to her father and reading a child's book titled If I Were a Pig, Ireland captioned the picture, If I were a pig, I would be rude and thoughtless, of course. And well, let's not even get into the mess that was Stephen Baldwin literally sicking his daughter, cousin of Ireland, Haley, on Justin Bieber from 2009 onwards to get them together. In our 8th spot, the Knowles Carters. Despite the tight knit, insanely professional public image surrounding the Knowles Carters, this family's picturesque persona unraveled at the world's feet when elevator footage of Solange brawling with Jay Z was released to the public in 2014. While nobody knows why physical blows occurred to this day, it was speculated that Solange. Solange attacked Jay-Z due to his acts of infidelity. Eventually though, Solange was able to put the past behind her, and Beyonce released quips about the occurrence in her hit Flawless, later allegedly but famously unleashing her dirty laundry of marital issues in her Lemonade album. Jay-Z wasn't too far behind with the revelations either, addressing their secrets in his 444 album, as well as his album documentary called Footnotes. As per CNN, the rapper explained, I just ran into this place and we built this big beautiful mansion of a relationship that wasn't totally built on 100% truth, and it starts cracking. Then things start happening that the public can see. The power couple has seemed unabashedly unaffected more recently, as they welcomed twins shortly after the mess and continue to thrive now. In our 7th spot, the Duggars. When this infamous family made their reality TV debut through TLC in 2008, they were portrayed as the perfect all-American Christian family. But by 2015, their squeaky clean image started to leak through. The cracks revealed themselves after news broke out that the Duggars eldest son, Josh, allegedly violated 5 girls back in 2002 when he was only 14, with two of his victims reportedly being his own siblings, Jess and Jill. Josh spoke in a lengthy statement about how much he supposedly regretted his actions, how they chose to address the situation, and how much his parents apparently confessed to his wrongdoings and helped Josh seek help. The family's then hit show, 19 Kids and Counting, was swiftly removed from the air as the family backed away from the glaring spotlight. It only took months for their family image to shatter again when Josh was reported to have consistently used 
a popular infidelity website, Ashley Madison, to cheat on his wife. In another statement via Us Weekly, Josh explained, I have been the biggest hypocrite. While espousing faith and family values, this became a sacred addiction and I became unfaithful to my wife. The craziest part was that he and his wife never divorced and later announced the expectance of their fifth child in 2017. In our sixth spot, the Lohans. The Lohans grew to be quite the troubling trio, given mother Dina, father Michael, and daughter Lindsay all landed on the wrong side of the law. Lindsay stayed in problems on and off from 2007 onwards when she was detained for multiple DUIs. Lindsay also had a couple of admissions into rehab. Michael was sentenced to jail time in 1990 due to insider trading and went right back in in 1997 for probation violation. 2004 saw him receive an additional sentence for driving impairment and attacking his in-law amid other issues. Then in 2012, Michael's ex-wife, Kate Major, filed a restraining order against him and later requested separation in 2015. And Dina, well, she was doing no better, having also faced a DUI arrest in September 2013. When Michael previously spoke with Life in Style magazine, he explained Lindsay's poor behavior and choices aren't her fault. Quote, I don't think she should have taken any of the blame for what happened to her. It's my and Dina's fault. We put her in the middle of the divorce. Now it's up to me and Dina to make this better, he said of the problem. Things seemed to eventually turn around for Lindsay, however, as she reportedly kept clean, out of legal trouble, and is now reportedly expecting her firstborn with her husband. In our fifth spot, the Osbournes. The Osborne family might just take the cake for being one of H-Town's most out of control relatives. Fans didn't miss a single detail of their madness when their four season reality show first aired and eventually fizzled out in 2005. But even with this, Sharon, Ozzy, Kelly, and Jack have always remained crystal clear about their family's struggles. And Kelly put her money where her mouth was when she later penned her memoir, There Is No Effing Secret, Letters From A Bad Ass B. In it, Kelly depicted a horrifying 2002 incident when she ended up having to take care of her parents. At the time, Sharon was battling cancer and Ozzy was back to using. On the night of Sharon's seizure, Ozzy reportedly almost ended his life. Of the occurrence, Kelly wrote, I had reason to be scared. Dad was there in his boxers and I watched him scoop his hand into a bowl, swallow a handful of something and then wash it down with vodka like it was water and he was dying of thirst. In the end, Kelly wound up in an ambulance with both her parents, detailing how she had to be responsible for quotes, making phone calls, signing papers, talking to doctors, consoling family members, and at 19, making adult decisions that would have been hard for someone three times my age. In our fourth spot, the Shannons. Much like every other reality family, the Shannons were tied to complete chaos, and the world bore witness to this in their since cancelled series, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, from 2012 to 2014. The reason behind their show's demise fell in line with Mama June's rekindled romance with Mark McDaniel, who was a 2004 convict for violent child related charges and remains a registered offender. June's daughter Anna claimed she was one of Daniel's victims when she was eight. According to ET, despite Daniel allegedly taking advantage of her daughter, June still brought Daniel back into the picture for two reasons. One being she felt remorseful for him, and the other being she wanted to provide her other daughter, Lauren, closure, as it was believed Daniel was potentially her father. However, this decision spurred more distance than intended. Back in June 2015, June filed a lawsuit against her mom, accusing her of owing $200,000 for their show's filming. Anna also opened up about her rifted relationship with her mother and her siblings since. In our third spot, the Palins. Former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin and her rowdy family aren't ones to shy away from a fist fight. As for USA Today, the famous fam threw hands at a September 2014 party in Alaska. A police report depicted the violent incident, reported originally by the US news outlet. Despite the reason behind the fight breaking out remaining unclear, daughter Bristol allegedly lashed out at a girl who was bothering her sister Willow, and the remaining family soon jumped into the spar. Brother Track reportedly tore his shirt off and flipped his middle finger at someone. Todd, Sarah's husband, ended up with a bloody nose, and Sarah was accused of screaming, don't you know who I am, at one point. And then there were Bristol's problematic relationship issues. Even though the family devoted themselves to abstinence, Bristol wound up a teen mom to trip and battled for his custody for years. Bristol later recommitted to her practice, however, gave birth to her second child, daughter Sailor, out of wedlock afterwards. 2016 saw her marriage to Sailor's dad, Dakota Meyer, finally take place. In our second spot, the Winter Workmans. Ariel Winter's estranged relationship with her mother, Chrysula Workman, grew so horrible that Ariel successfully emancipated herself back in May 2015. The year after, Ariel unloaded her and her mother's messy past on Good Morning America, saying, We haven't spoken in three and a half years. Initially, the modern family actress accused her mother of being physically and emotionally violent towards her, finalizing, It's already hard enough for victims, but it's harder in the public eye when everybody has an opinion. At first, Ariel was hesitant to speak about her relationship because it was really painful for me to watch my mom go on news 
news outlets and kind of spread things everywhere when it's really just private family business. In our first spot, the Spellings. Actress Tori Spelling once informed Access Hollywood about how vital a role her father, named TV producer Aaron Spelling, played in her family's dysfunctional dynamic, most notably in Tori's strained relationship with her mom, Candy. In 2014, Tori detailed, I was very much a daddy's girl, and as an adult, I can go back and look at the relationship and see that he always kind of positioned her as like he was a good cop, she was a bad cop. He kind of created a bit of that dynamic. It wasn't just all her. Tori continued to explain, I think he created a lot of competition between us. He was the good guy, so everyone vied for his attention. And a lot of that attention went from her to me. In the end, Tori was holding on to hope of developing a healthier bond with her mom, adding to her Us Weekly chat, I think the biggest thing in a mother-daughter relationship is accepting the relationship for what it is, not what you want it to be. And I haven't gotten there yet. That's been today's WATN. I've been your host, Michaela, and thanks for watching, friends.